The first track we'll go over is the horse track. Horses are in the order Parasodactyla. A defining characteristic of Parasodactylids is having an odd number of toes, which is easy to see in the shape of the horse print. Next, we have the bison track. In comparison to the previous example we went over, it's pretty obvious that there's a difference in the shape of these two tracks. This can be attributed to the fact that bison belong to Artiodactyla, which means that they have an even number of toes. On this track, you can clearly see the two lobes of their toes. Next, we have a deer track. Again, you can see the two toes indicating that they belong to Artiodactyla. Knowing what species frequent the property, we can assume that these tracks were made by a mule deer, even though you might not be able to see a difference in configuration. Now, we'll discuss predator tracks. First, we have a coyote track. Coyotes belong to the family Canidae, or the dog family and this family tends to leave a distinct track. A lot of the time, tracks left by canines will also have claw marks due to the non-retractable claws of canine feet, so that can help us decide that this track was left by a coyote. Next, we have a bobcat, bobcat track. Generally smaller in size than our coyote track, the bobcat also has one other helpful characteristic. Since bobcats belong to the Felidae, or cat family, they have retractable claws and as you can see, this track has no claw marks, helping us narrow down our ID. And the most common print you'll find while you're out hiking is that of our human hiker.